Hello, and welcome back to Thirsty Thursday Toys. Today we're going to be looking at some awesome g Fantas prototypes and making a delicious carrot cake cocktail with actual carrot. For this one, you'll need some horchata rum, a bourbon cream, a vanilla liqueur, your amaretto of choice, and of course, carrot juice. I love a good carrot cake, and I was looking up carrot cake cocktail recipes last summer, and none of the recipes I came across use carrot juice or any other carrot flavoring. So they weren't so much carrot cake flavored as they were carrot cake frosting flavored. Now don't get me wrong, that's still tasty, but it's not carrot cake, you know? I'm sure if I would kept digging, I would have found some that use carrot juice, so it's possible that my recipe could resemble some others, but I'm pretty proud of this one. If you've got a better carrot cake cocktail recipe, I'd honestly love to try it. In your shaker, add one part horchata rum cream liqueur, a half part of your bourbon cream liqueur, one part of that vanilla liqueur, a half part of amaretto, and a full part carrot juice. Add in a couple ice cubes, give it a good shake. Strain it and enjoy. Cheers! Here we have two prototypes of the first g Fantas figure. g Fantas was created in the late 90s or early 2000s, I'm sure someone can give me an exact year, to be the mascot of G-Fan Magazine and G-Fest, an annual kaiju convention in Chicago. It's my understanding that these were going to be GFS exclusives, black, gray, and an orange one, but there were a lot of problems in the manufacturing process, and only a fraction of the figures turned out to be acceptable for selling. The rest of these were either used as rewards for the later Kickstarter campaign, sold on Tempting Toys website, or popped up on eBay, which is where I got mine. These ones here are reject prototypes from the first run of figures, which were designed by Matt Frake, fantastic artist! If we could get Matt Frank or our Adams Godzillas in the Mondo Godzilla Museum line, that would be phenomenal, but I digress. The major problems, as I understand them, were about the quality of the vinyl and issues with the spiky bits. Some parts are a much softer vinyl with a more rubbery feel, and some harden differently. There were also a lot of air bubbles or spikes not pulling out of the molds properly. So you can see here this is a much harder vinyl, and this is a lot more rubbery. So I can squish the body and the arms here, but the legs, despite being hollow, are much harder in comparison. The tail is also pretty squishy. These guys stand just under 7 inches tall and feature 7 points of articulation. The head rotates a full 360, same with both arms, as well as both legs. The tail has two points of articulation, one right here in the base and one right here about halfway through. The bottom of the feet say G-Fantas with the Daikaiju Enterprises copyright. The other foot gives some design credit and you can kind of read Matt Frank's name. I really like this design, and I'm sorry it didn't work out. After this run, they decided to not only change manufacturers, but designs as well. The next G-Fantas figure was produced by YMSF, and initially sold through a Kickstarter campaign. This one I have here is, as of this filming, YMSF's most recent iteration. I'm a sucker for translucent vinyl, so even though I much prefer the original sculpt, I had to grab this one. I do plan to paint up one of these rejects, and I hope that they'll tweak some things and do another run of this version somewhere down the line. I believe you can still find some on the Tempting Toys website, or keep your eyes on eBay. Some might even pop up at G-Fest, and hey, maybe I'll see some of you there. In the meantime, good luck on your hunt, thanks for subscribing, and please, drink responsibly.